Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Super Mario 3D World. Now, you may have realised <laughs> I've already completed this world, and that is true. Um, I have just recorded this video, and I've been using my new capture card. However, there was a problem here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot to separate all of my audio uh, channels, so I couldn't sound mix it properly. So, yeah... So we're going to have to redo this one, but that's not a problem, not a problem. Anyway, let's go. Pipeline Lagoon. Luckily, it's kind of just trivial to replay these levels. Now, I love this level. This is one of my favorite starts to a Mario level in this game, I think. You've got this beautiful beach-like lagoon, and it's just phenomenal. Um, I don't know why I love these kind of beach levels so much. I mean, this one isn't really a beach level, it just starts off that way. You've got these Goombas just chilling in this little uh, beach lake here, and it's just, looks, it's just superb, man. It's the sort of place that you just love to come to, uh, you know, kill a few hours, get the fuck away from modern life. It'd be fantastic. I think the reason I like beach levels so much is because I grew up on a beach. Uh, probably has something to do with it. Uh, I literally had a beach not even a minute or two minutes walk from my house and it was pretty cool. Well, me and my mate Rich, we spent every waking minute down at that beach um, and then played video games all evening. It was pretty damn good. Anyway, enough about reminiscing. Let's catch up. So, these frog guys, I don't know what they're called, but if you kill them, they give you loads of coins. And we like coins. We also have a cat suit as well, which is going to make bits of this level quite a bit easier. So, let's explore. There's a few more of these frog guys, like, hidden. Ah, we definitely don't want a mushroom. See, there's this, like, little circle here. Not sure if we can actually do anything with this. Kind of looks kind of sus. You ask me. Ah, there we go. If we butt pound, we can make glorious coins appear before our very eyes. Now this Goomba. Oh god. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, that Goomba kind of ruined everything. That's okay. Luckily, we've got another cat suit. Let's go through this pipe. Oh, look at it. I wish there was an entire kind of beach theme world in this game, but I don't think there is, off the top of my head. Also, listen to this. The way the music transitions from being out of water and submerged. It kind of gets a little bit more muffled, a little bit more ethereal. It's really good. It's such a awesome little bit of detail there. Anyway, let's kill these cheap cheeps. So they just get in the way. I don't think that goes anywhere. Yeah, it just transports us around. I don't know what these guys are called. Like giant cheap cheeps. With spikes. Let's grab all the stuff now. From what I can remember. And I should remember because I literally only did this not that long ago. The uh, most of the green stars are hidden. Well, there's the first one, I believe. Yep, green star there. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, listen to that music. Oh, it's amazing. David Jones Locker. Two sunken pirate ships. They kind of look like Bowser's ships from um, Super Mario uh, Galaxy, which is a fantastic game, by the way. And the switch port is excellent. Shame we never got Galaxy 2. Uh, I think we'll stay with the cat suit for now. I think the cat suit's probably my favourite power up just because of how versatile it is. Although the leaf is quite good as well. Just kill these cheap sheeps just for the sake of it. No mercy. We're close to another life. Grab some more coins. Now, there should be the stamp hidden here. We can get a cannon block as well, which will be required. 
just down here. Get some more coins. And we have a nice green pipe. Which will lead us to the second star. And a whole pile of coins. I love the fact you can collect things with the cannon block as well. It's really cool. And of course, a cool 100 second power up as well. Noise. Let's just clear the road. I don't think we need, actually need to kill all these guys, but we will. Just because Mario is a bit of a murderous bastard. I don't think Mario is the nice, kind hearted plumber that he's made out to be. Now, if we look up here, we've got another little hole that we can hide in and find ourselves another secret up here is the star I think that's all the stars now <laughs> there's a Goomba just like chilling here and there's one of these frog guys too I think there's another frog here somewhere there he is in the corner just blast him with a cannon He's through superior firepower. Should we let that Goomba chill out? Nah. Let's kill him. Just because it makes us feel better. Makes Mario feel tough killing these guys. Right, I think that was all the stars and everything. Alright. Now, where should we head off to next? I think we're going to jump down this pipe and carry on through to this level. This level's pretty cool. Uh, Mount Mustache. Now, this one can be a bit of a double-edged sword because we've got lots of boost pads everywhere. But if we come back here... Uh, you know what? It's... You know what, let's get another one. Yeah. Come up here, there's a bell. Extra cat power. Cat power is best power. I actually want to avoid these boost pads because they're a double-edged sword. They will get you killed. Well, at least they get me killed anyway. Like that. See? Boost you straight into enemies. And the worst part about it is, I knew that was there. Oof. It'll definitely get you killed here anyway. Let's wait for these ladybug things. They look like Smarties. Or M&Ms or something. Let's go through. Now, there should be a golden coin block here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, at least we can have a go on the super fun happy slide and murder some M&Ms on the way down. Cool. Nothing in these trees. Ah, I'm disappointed. I like it when the trees have nice little secrets for us. Not so with this one. Boing. Now, you don't want to hit that boost pad or those enemies, if I'm being honest. Right, come here, you little git. Give me your star. Thank you. Second star done. Right, avoiding these boost pads as much as we can, or as much as we need to. Oh no! Right, this is where the stamp is. Unfortunately, we can no longer get the third star, which is up there. Son of a... Uh, okay. Yeah, you need to get the... Uh, you need to have a cat suit if you want to get the third star, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> and the worst thing about it is, I knew that was there. But never mind, we shall come back here in a second and grab that third star. And there we go, final star. Excellent. And we get to have a go on the Gamblatron. Let's have a go, shall we? See if we can get some more lives. Now, when we did this in the failed video, 
Uh, I think we got, yeah, we got three blocks, so we got a three up. So, let's see if we can replicate that. No, nope, <laughs> two up instead. Ah, well, one day I shall get all four. Damn you! Never mind. Anyway, what do we have next? Oh, right, yes. Now, there is a toad house that's over there. Unfortunately, the toad house has been claimed. Ah, also, if we go back through this pipe thinking about it, we can get a nice little overview of the whole map, which is pretty cool up here. And there's some hidden coins and things. Oh, there's still a couple hidden coins here, which is cool. Yeah, not amazing, but it's something to a nice little view. Anywho, let's go through all the pipes. I do love these uh, world maps that Mario games have. They are really fun, really cool. I just wish this one had a few more things to explore. Let's go. Let's go. Right, is there any secrets back here? I don't think so, but you never know. Now this level really does remind me of something from Super Mario Galaxy. Reminds me of uh, one of the earlier levels. Right, well we have some bees. Kill the bees. Yeah, the cat suit is just like the best offensive suit ever. You might not have range, but you've got a wicked kind of like first person, uh, first person? Uh, close combat melee attack. I guess we'll take that. We'll keep the cat suit for now, though. Just because flower power is fine, but I just prefer the speediness of the attack. Now, there's a hidden life here as well, which we're certainly going to grab. Now, I don't know every secret in this game, but I think I know a somewhat decent chunk of them. If we go back here, we can have a little look at the overstretching level. Which is nice. Now, bees. Now, see, the trouble with the flower power is when you're trying to shoot things at long range, you can only actually fire two shots at a time. And then you must wait for those to disappear before you can fire more. With the cat attack, you can just keep spamming the cat attack. So, it's much better, in my opinion. See? <laughs> that would have been way harder with the flower power. Anywho. Let's keep going. Let's keep this party wagon moving. We get the power up. Invincibility. Invincibility is the best power up because you can even kill these things, which is really satisfying. All right, let's keep going. And get ready. Hey. This should lead us to a star, I believe. It does. Okay, now we've got to go have a demon drop. Uh, uh, let's try and get all the coins. Hey, we actually did get all the coins. It's actually harder than it looks to get all of those, but we did it. Of course we did it. Now one of these trees might be this one. It has a load of coins in it. Yink. Gimme, 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 gimme. I like coins. Peach likes coins. Mario likes coins. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Now, this one can get a little bit tricky, but I think we'll be okay. Now, if we collect all these red coins, we'll get a flower power. But, eh, don't really care too much about said flower power. Ah, no, that's fine. Keep the cat suit. Especially for when handling these bees. Ah, there we go. Much easier to handle them all with the cat suit. Alright, let's go. Now, the actual, you have to duck under here. And that's where there's another star. Slightly hidden little star, that one. Um, now, oof. I think I want the flower power here, because if I lose the flower power, I don't really care. But 
Oh no, this is going to be bad. Ugh. Right, we're going down. We want to go full speed ahead. Don't spare the horses, Mario. Oh, no, we bollocked it. Right, I think the best thing to do, because I've tried this about a hundred times now, is to just take the hit. Although, <laughs> I guess, eighth time lucky, managed to execute it perfectly. Well done, Mario. Well done. Anyway, we want to grab this one to get to the uh, stamp, like so. I don't know about excellent, Mario. I think we've, you know, died... Oof, Jesus. Died a few more times than we probably should have there. But whatever. Whatever. Um, right, so, yeah. So that's taken, like, two minutes of trying. Uh, so what's that? 19 minutes. 19. Get the star. Editing, eh? Right, anyway, let's go. So, with that done, and with that, yeah, that's the Toad House, but obviously we can't go into the Toad House. Let's go confront the boss. Now, this is a fun, the Bullet Bill Express. This is a really fun boss stage. I am a fan. You know, it's definitely the more time I spend with uh, Nintendo products. Ah, uh, no. The more of a Nintendo fan I do become. Oh, God. This is interesting. Right, let's go grab this. So that's one star down. Ooh. Yeah. I guess we'll get that. I guess it doesn't really matter what power-ups we have, just as we have power-ups. Now, we're going to get a bullet bill barrage here. Luckily, we can use that railing as a little bit of a shield and grab Oof. the second start. God, that's so sketchy. It's much sketch. Wow. Right, let's go Super Shroom. Oh, dude. Look at the size of these bullet bills, man. I think Bowser is overcompensating for something. Now you want to be careful when you're Super Mario here, or Super Shroomed up, because you don't want to destroy the screen pipe. Because we need the screen pipe to get the next star. This next star is very easy to miss as well. What we want to do is go and open up Toad here, and grab all of Toad's secret coins without touching that. And there we go. He'll give us the star. Good Toad. That Toad. Let's kill these hammer bros. Are they hammer bros? No. Flame bros. I mean, they are hammer bros. But we also have our stamp there. Come here, you knob. Are they a fire bro, maybe? I'm not sure what those guys are called. But if we come up here, we get a little Easter egg, which is really cool. Now, look at Mario there on the left on the other track, running away from the bullet bill train. Really freaking cool. Little Easter egg. That's what I love about uh, Nintendo games, especially like Zelda and Mario and things like that. There's so many cool little touches. So here we have Pom, I believe her name is. Well, no matter. She's fairly easy to uh, take out. She will clone herself, but she's always the one that's got the coloured shuriken. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that was just spectacularly bad. Don't mind me. I'm trying, I swear. Mario, making me look a fool. Luckily, I can cut out most of my mistakes through the power of editing. You're done, Pom. You're done. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. And save. Final blue. Say the final blue fairy. She's the only blue fairy. At least we're not going to take pitch, uh, take ideas out of Link's book and stuff her into a jar. That seems to be more Bowser's MO at the moment. Alright. 
Now, I think we'll do one more before we wrap things up. So, there is actually a bonus level if we go through the pipe that she's going to build. And it is this. A banquet with a histocrat. Let's go and see what's going on here. See what kind of spread he's laid out for us. Spoiler, it ain't what you think. Uh, cat suit. We'll take the cat suit. And I like it when a little maid comes in and makes me coffee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go take on Histocrat. Now this is quite fun. I do like this fight. He's a big boy. He looks rather dapper as well. Now, like most bosses in Mario, he kind of gives you the tools to destroy him. Now you might notice, oh god, on his head he's got a big X. So I guess Bowser's already lumped him over the head a few times. So let's go make his day even worse by squishing his head even more. See what I mean? I mean, this guy's obviously laying on like a nice little do for us. And then you have Mario here just going out of his way to make his day worse. I don't know if we can actually... No, we can't. I didn't know if we could actually climb up his back or something. But sadly, no. Ooh. Ah, bamboozled. Bamboozled. Don't really know why we have the cat suit here. I don't think it really helps out that much. But, you know, it's better to have a power up than not, I guess. Uh, at least these guys are going to continuously give us more. Which is jolly nice of them. And you are done, son. Excellent. So the evil empire has dealt another blow. And we got a life out of it as well. Only one star here. Kind of like a mini boss fight here. I would say it's a hidden boss fight, but not really, because you have to go past it to get onto the next world. Excellent, eh? Ah, oh, the music's so good as well. I like how consistent Mario's music always is. I think that's one of the big things that Sonic never got right. Like, every game had different music and sound effects for the power-ups and whatnot. There's no consistency whatsoever. Anywho. Let's go to World 4. Not my favourite world, but it's not bad. It's okay. Now, in the interest of saving time, because we've had a couple of recording cock-ups and whatnot. I think we're gonna, uh, the next few videos might be a little bit shorter, try and keep them to 20 minutes or so, just because uh, I've got a lot to record <laughs> and not a lot of time to do it. So, thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.